Online. Today we are going to see Digital Circuits and Fetal Course for July, December 2023, Week 2. This is Benila. So the single uh, precision floating point binary equivalent number of 23 base 10 is single precision floating point 32 bit binary format is so 1 bit for sign, 8 bit for uh, exponent and 23 bit for mantissa. So the procedure for conversion is first we have to convert this 23 into binary and then normalize the binary value into 2 powers right so 1 0 1 1 1 into 2 power 0 so while uh, normalizing so from this one i'm just moving this uh, uh, decimal point from this place to this place so it's going to be uh, 1 point 0 1 1 1 into 2 power 4 so it's going to be 1 2 3 4 so it's 2 power 4 now adjust the equivalent. So the formula for adjusting the equivalent is exponent, unadjusted exponent plus 2 power 8 minus 1. So 8 bit component, so 8 minus 1 minus of 1. So here uh, the comp exponent is going to be 2 power 4. So 4 plus uh, 2 power 8 minus 1 is going to be 2 power 7, that is 128 minus 1 is going to be 131. And find the binary equivalent of this exponent, 131. So this is going to be the binary equivalent. So first we will finish it of the sign and then the exponent part. So here if it is uh, the sign is uh, positive so s bit is 0. If it is negative now s bit is going to be 1. And then the exponent part is 1000011. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So now the remaining part is 23 bit mantissa part. So to normalize the 23 bit mantissa part. So remove the leading uh, LSB and then uh, uh, adjust the decimal value. So here this is going to be the leading. So I am just removing it out because always it is going to be 1 for normalized value. And here I am going to strike out this one also. So I am going to take 0 0.0111. Here it is already 4 bits. I have to make it out as 23 bits by adding 0 here. So by adding 0 I will be getting 23 bits. So the entire already we found the sign and then this uh, exponent part. So now we are we'll fill it out this 23 bits here. So this is going to be the 32 bit floating point representation of the decimal value 23. The mean terms of AB plus ACD expression are. So here if you want to find the mean terms, uh, the number of variables present in that equation should be each and every uh, term should have all the variables. So here we have four different variables as A, B, C and D. Here you have two terms. So these two terms should have all the four variables. Here two variables are missing. Here one variable is missing. So without altering the value of this equation I have to include all the four values. So for this one I will be using that is A, B uh, A, uh, into 1 into 1. So this um, uh, 1 will be replaced by C plus C bar and then this one will be replaced by D plus D bar. So C plus C bar value is 1, D plus D bar is 1. So if I am going to multiply 1 with this AB, the value does not change. Here also B value is missing. So I will be making it out as B plus B bar. So B plus B bar value is 1. So the value will not be changed. Now I will be multiplying this one. So this C plus C bar into D plus D bar will be C D plus C bar uh, D bar then C bar D plus C bar D bar and then I will be multiplying this uh, A B C D and A B bar C D. Again I will be multiplying this A B throughout so this is the left out of that is A B C D plus A B C D bar I got this one. So here this uh, A B C D and e, a, a B C D is repeating twice so to avoid this redundancy I am making it as one term. So the final min terms of this particular term is going to be uh, this one. So each and every term has all the four variables uh, either in terms of original or in the complement way. Find the sum of uh, 12 and 1.25 of decimal value using the revised 14 bit simple floating point. First we have to find the revised 14 bit uh, form of 12 as well as 1.25 and then the exponent point should be common and then we should add the mantissa part. So this is the procedure. So first we will see what is the revised 14 bit simple floating. So revised 14 bit, 14 bit is 1 bit is for sign, 5 bit for exponent and 8 bit for mantissa. 
It's a procedure for 14-bit floating point is convert into a binary. So 12 should be converted into binary and then normalize the binary. So normalizing the binary is 2 power 0. So here uh, there is no need to have this value of 1. Uh, this value this value should be 1 uh, as previous of your uh, single point precision. So here it is going to be 0. So adjust the exponent. So here the formula is exponent plus unadjusted exponent plus 2 power 5 minus 1. There we had unadjusted exponent plus 2 power 8 minus 1. But here it is 5 uh, bit exponent. So 5 minus 1. So here we are not going to subtract uh, 1 after that. So here it is going to be 4. So 4 plus 16. Uh, 2 power 4 is going to be 16. So 20 converted into the binary. So now normalize the mantissa part. So this is going to be the mantissa part. So this is, I am going to, as usual, I am going to uh, uh, remove this uh, uh, LSB value and then I am going to remove this also. So remaining is 0 0.1110. I should make it out to 8 bit mantissa. So 8 bit. So 1110000. So I am going to get the mantissa part here. make it out as 0 here. So similarly 1.25 that also I am going to make convert it into a 14 point, convert it into binary, normalize the binary value, add the exponent. So here you have to make sure that both the exponent should be 2 power 4. So here it is 2 power 4. So that also should be 2 power 4 to enable the sum. So I have uh, obtain the 14 bit revised uh, format of 1.25. Now I am going to add this 12 and 1.25 uh, of your 14 bit revised. So here the sign as well as the uh, exponent part should not be altered. So that should be same. And then only the mantissa part I am going to add 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, again 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So I am going to add only the mantissa part. So this one should be repeated as such. So your uh, value of this sum 12 plus 1.25 is 0 0.1101 to power 4. So here the exponent is 10100. We found it. If we take it reverse, we will get your 2 power 4. Express the Boolean expression a plus b into a plus c in a standard POS or canonical form of POS. So this is POS is product of sum. So this is going to be products, this is going to be one product, this is going to be one product, this is going to be another product, where each and every product is going to be sum. That is called as a product of this sum term. So canonical form is each and every term should have all the variables here. Here the total number of variables in this expression is 3, A, B, C. Here C is missing and in product 2, B is missing. So I will be using the compensation. So if I am going to add 0, then the value will not be changed. So whatever the changes we are going to do, the value of the expression should not be changed. So if I add 0, the value will not be changed. Here instead of B, I will be adding 0. So here I can use this uh, uh, property of 0. So C, C bar is going to be 0. That is the property. X, X bar is equal to 0. So here I need B, B bar. So into 0. Using distributive law, I will just expand this one. So A plus B plus C into A plus B plus C bar. Again here it is A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C bar. So here this A plus B plus C and A plus B plus C is a retardant term. So two terms are there. So I can make it out as one. So the canonical uh, uh, POS or standard POS is this one. Decimal equivalent of a single precision floating point number of this particular value is so here they have given this uh, 32 bit from this one we have to take the reverse order so here this is going to be sign bit the next 8 bit is going to be the exponent part next 23 bit is going to be your mantissa part so first find the mantissa part it's going to be uh, always the first value for the mantissa part is going to be 1 1.01 and you have the remaining zeros here then I uh, will be going for the exponent part. So this is the exponent part. So find the equivalent value of this one. So this is going to be 1. So 2 power 0 is 1. And then 2 power 7 is going to be 128. So your exponent part is 129. So I should subtract 127 from your 129 which is equal to 2. So that is the reverse part of the problem 1. 
so here it is going to be uh, 1.01 into 2 power 2 so i can write it out as normalize this one as uh, 101 into 2 power 0 so this uh, removing this one your sign bit is going to be 1 again so sign bit is 1 so the value is going to be minus and 101 is going to be 5 point here there is no value after the decimal 1 so point 0 a floating point number is said to be normalized if the most significant bit of the mantis is always 1. Using the Boolean algebra, what is the simplified form of the given expression? AB plus ABC plus ABD plus C. So, AB plus ABC plus AB into D plus C is equal to, just I am taking this uh, in these two, A is common, so uh, AB is common, so I am taking AB out. So, if I take AB out, so it is going to be 1 plus C. So, using this uh, property 1, 1 plus C is going to be, the value is going to be 1. Anything uh, plus 1 is going to be 1. So, I can write it out as AB plus AB into D plus C. So, here in this 2, AB is common. So, I am going to take AB out. So, this becomes 1 plus D plus E. So, anything plus 1 is going to be 1. So, the value is going to be AB. So, which of the following expression is the sum of products? Sum of products. So, this is going to be sum, sum of the product term AB and then your CB. So, this is called as a sum of the product. A plus AB gets simplified to here A is common. So, I am taking it out. So, 1 plus B, you know it very well. 1 plus B is going to be 1. So, the simplified way of uh, output is going to be A. So, give the following binary number in 32 bit precision that is IEEE 7544 uh, uh, format so they have given the number as we said uh, as we saw it in the problem 4 same thing you are going to uh, same procedure if you sub follow you will get your answer so here the value is 1 bit as for sign 8 bit for exponent 23 bit as for the matrix I have substituted the value and find it in the reverse order the value will be 2.31 into 10 power minus 1 Express 32 in the simplified revised 14 bit uh, format. So, we saw it in the uh, earlier problem. So, same thing if you substitute and the get, you, get the value, convert it to binary, then normalize your exponent part and then uh, uh, your mantissa part, you will get your value here. So, f of a, b, c, d here, the function is have four va uh, variables. Uh, this pi tells you this is going to be the max term capital M and then pi tells you it is going to be the max term. So, how to find the minimum term? So, here since you have 4 variables total the maximum number of uh, um, uh, values is going to be 16 that is 0 to 15. Whatever the term available in max term, the remaining term whatever the term missing in the max term will be the minimum term. So, that is going to be whatever the term is missing in the max term from 0 to 15. So, here you have, you have 0, 1, 2 in max. So, 3 is missing. So, 3 will be min term. 4, 5, 6 is there in max. So, 7 is missing. So, 7 is a min term. 8, 9, 10 is in maximum term. Then, 11, 12, 13, 14 is missing. In 15 is missing in the max term. So, that will belongs to the minimum term. So, whatever the term available in max term. So, that left out term will be the min term. So, vice versa here. So, if you are having the 4 variables, so the maximum value, uh, value uh, output, number of output is 2 power 4, 16. That is, uh, two, 16 values here. If it is 3 variable, 2 power 3 is going to be 8, 0 to 7. Likewise, for the given Boolean, uh, Boolean function f of x, comma y, comma z is equal to 0, 2, 4, 5, 6, simplified output will be uh, here uh, I have wrote the min terms here. Actually, we can use your K-map to solve this one. It's going to be very easy. So, in the following lectures, we'll be seeing the K-map. So, uh, using that K-map, we can simplify it at Z, Z inverse plus X, Y, Z, Y, X, Y inverse. So, A plus A, B bar plus A, B bar, C plus A, B bar, C, D bar simplifies to. It's very simple here. So, to the common, I, I can take A out. So, A is common in all the four terms. If I take A out, I get this 1 plus B bar plus B bar C plus B bar C D bar. So, 1 plus anything is equal to 1. So, the value is going to be A. What is the decimal value of the floating point number? So, they have given in the decimal uh, hexadecimal notation. So, you have to convert that hexadecimal notation into a 
binary value. So for C the binary equivalent is 1100, for 1 it is 001 and for D it is 1101 and for all 5 zeros 000. zero, zero. So hexadecimal to your binary for each and every hexadecimal value 4 bit you have to represent. So I got the 32 bit representation. So in the previous as in the previous problem if you take the reverse of it you will be able to find the decimal value which is going to be minus 26 because your sign bit is going to be 1. So thank you guys subscribe my channel for automatic updates. So have a nice day.